everyone. Today we're going to open one of these uh, Diner Series 2 balls from Make It Mini. Uh, Miniverse Make It Mini Food. Uh, and I'm really hoping for the pizza. That would be so amazing. Um, but I kind of like this soup here as well. Anyway, let's uh, go into it and see what we get in this one. I still have a few of the um, uh, the uh, cafe series left, but I wanted to make one of these today, so let's get into that. And these are always so difficult to open. Uh, these tear tabs are never working for me. Oh, where is this one? Where is it? There it is. It is right here. Yep, not working. Anyway, I think it's enough to get it open. Just need to get it free. Come on. There we are. Off with it. Let's see. Open up. And taking out everything in here. We got a tiny doily. And we got the table uh, that I have been using for 1 to 12 things. You can do that. I made a tiny little adapter for placing here so that it can be tall enough for 1 to 12. Why can't I get it in there? There we go. So it goes like that and then you put on the top here uh, and you can use that for uh, a display of these and it's crooked it's really really crooked oh well I'm not gonna use that anyway so we have the guide and some um, instructions or yeah instructions let's see we have one two three four five six bags that's actually quite a lot of bags Let's open this little one first. See what we get in here. I like that this is paper and not plastic bags. Uh, even though that this is still, I think, a plasticky inside, so I'm not sure that it goes into the paper waste. I'm not sure about that. So I have the top for the lid right here. Let me place that on. There we go. Then we have the tweezers. So that was uh, the first part. Let me put that to the side. Let's take the red one here. I think it might be a cake. Yes, it's a cake. Oh, please don't be a double. Let's open this one. We have the cake stand. Then this one. That's a double. Oh no. And the decoratings. And least but not last, we have the uh, glaze or the um, resin for that one. But this one is a double. It's the cake that we did make. Actually, I think that was last time. So I am going to put this to the side and find me another bowl and see if we get something else in that one. Oh, and I found the cake spatula uh, in one of the bags, so we have that as well. But again, I just made this cake, so I'm not going to do that. I might do it later when I have more things to uh, use for decorating a cake. Then I might make one with other stuff on there. Let's open this one and see if we get another one. And please don't be a double. Or that would be a triple for me. So that's the first layer. We got it right here. And again, it's not working. So we're just ripping it off as fast as we can. There we go. Let's open this one and see what we get. We have the same doily as the other one. And we have the little guide, the 
table. And of course, the things here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, we had three yellows in the other one, so we might be lucky here. Let's open the green one first and see what we get in here. We have a spoon. I think we have another one here. That's perfect. I'm just putting, putting this one on the top again. Then we have the tweezers, as we always get. These are not that good, but they're tweezers and the spoon. Then we have this little yellow one. It says, thank you, have a sunny day. Let's see. It's kind of a cake stand. Yeah, that's a cake stand. Then we have Happy Sun Farms. It looks like strawberries here. Uh, pineapple slices, definitely something new. This might be the resin. It is. There is no, nothing more in there. So we have some golden syrup syrup. Then we have one here it says again have a sunny day. Happy Sun Farm. Strawberries. No wait that's cherries. Ooh, nice nice. And then I think this might be the cake. Yes that's a cake. Sponge cake. Oh that's nice. So we do have something different this time. Let me find the guide. Here, let's see what we have. Oops, I think it's this one. Ah, oh, come on, come on. There we go. I think it's this cake. That's the one we just opened. That is a double, but we got this one this time. I really would love the pizza and this one as well. Anyway. Uh, we have the instruction and it says to put on the syrup and then the um, pineapples and the cherries and then from that make the cake. Just give me a second to clean up here and we'll go into the cake making. So I think I'm ready for making this little cake now. I cleaned everything up here around me. So we have the little cake stand. I'm just going to leave that to the side. Open up this one. Getting this little cake sponge thing out here. It's nicely shaded. I like the part here at the bottom and this or the top and this bottom part here is just all shaded. It would be in real life as well. Then we have the syrup or the syrup and we are going to put that on top. The other one I made, um, I made that into a frozen moment, but this time I am thinking of doing it just like it says in the guide. Uh, let's see. I have a expectation, Ex expectation. That's a really hard word, Expe expectation. Uh, anyway, I'm trying to get this here off so that I can get to my resin. That just rips everything off, but okay. Um, I hope that this can open. No. No, that's just for show. So we have to open it like we normally do. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna find my own tweezers here for a second. Oops. And then I'm gonna get this little cab off. That was easy. Put that away. Uh, I might have to put it on here while doing this. Let's open this one. There's a lot of nice cherries in there and also more than enough pineapples, I think. So I might be able to use this on the other cake as well and then we can make something other from that cake, something else. Let me just figure out 
they have like five of these and then one in the middle. There's no room for the one in the... Oh, it's on top. So it's like this and then this is on top. And then I have two slices left. That's fine. And I'm gonna just pop out some of the cherries here. Like that. Pop the lid on that one. Okay, let's try this out. Oh, that's a nice color. Come on out. Come on. There we go. I'm just gonna stop right there right now. Just place that on the bottom up here. And then gonna make this syrup or what you call this, the resin. Put it all to the edges. Make sure you don't put your fingers in this. This is toxic. So you don't want to do that. So I'm just putting it out to the edge here. Having a nice even coat all the way around the cake. And I think I'm actually going to make kind of a drip down here. So I'm just pulling some of it out and placing it over the edge, just a tiny bit. And you don't need to do it everywhere. I'm just going to do it here and there. Oh, and there's actually a mistake here in my cake. Hmm. And I think just one more over here, like that, and then place that back on the stand, making sure I have it all over. There we go. And then now for these pineapples. Oops, careful. Just carefully placing these. Like that. And I'm thinking that I have enough for these to be sticking in there. Oh, that's gonna be a problem because you can't harden the resin underneath these berries. Using my UV light torch here and just hardening this. Making sure that it is not flowing anywhere. I am going to put it under my UV light lamp later just to make sure everything is all hardened. But I'm pretty sure that these berries here, you can see it's not all hardened. They won't harden under there. That will not, that's not going to happen. Um, give me a second, <laughs> I'm going to clean this up. So I did take my time to harden this under the UV light so it should be hard now. I'm going to take a tiny bit more of resin, pop in it here in the middle to make sure that my pineapple will stay in place. Popping the cap on here, taking this one and placing that on top there. And I am going to place that under my UV light again and uh, then I will be back. So my cake has been hardened. 
um, so it's all hardened. Um, these um, cherries, I am going to take a tiny bit of super glue gel here and just pop that into each of these rooms. Then taking the little cherries and placing it into the super glue. I like to find the little hole for the cherry. That was a little too much resin in that one. So I'm just gonna pop a cherry in each of these holes. Making sure they will stay there. Turn that upside down. Okay. And then I am going to take my little spoon. I think I'm gonna take a tiny bit of resin here. Whoops. Now it's coming out. So I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of resin on top of the spoon and on the bottom here putting the lid really really close and tight on there and then I'm gonna take a cherry or two and pop in here and I wanna I'll place that here on the side something like that so I need to put it under my UV light like that and then I will be back and here we have the done cake and it's still loose from the bottom part here uh, with the spoon right in the side. I had to glue the spoon spoon on here because the UV resin wouldn't uh, hold it there. So we have the little doily and the table and there it is. The little dessert. I'm not sure about the spoon here. It would be better on the side of the table or something like that. But here it is, and uh, I might give these little uh, cherries a little glaze and these uh, pineapples. They, I think they should be looking a tiny bit more glossy than they do. Um, but I might do that, I might not, I don't know yet. Uh, anyway, let's um, turn over to the voiceover and then I will make this in 1 to 12. See you in a second. So I mixed this uh, color here from a lot of white, some caramel and some yellow and I mixed that together and got this color that is kind of the same color as the cake uh, and I'm rolling this out and trying to get it into the half size of the original cake and that is actually a little too small when I make the pineapple slices that I have a mold for. Uh, and I made that mold once uh, for a long time ago. I will link for that video in the info box below if I can find it. Um, and those pineapple slices in the mold have the right size in 1 to 12 uh, from 1 to 1. Uh, but this cake was a tiny bit too small when I was done with it. So um, I would make it a bit um, bigger if I had to do it all over again. I measured the height of the original cake to have an idea around how tall I need to make my own. So I'm making it half the size of the other one. So only half the size. But I would make it bigger <laughs> in the uh, round shape or what you call it from the top you and down. I, down. I would make that bigger before um, making this again if I have to make it again. I shaped it a bit and then I am using my soft pastel uh, chalk here uh, to color it a bit. So I'm just using my fingers on these uh, orangey browny, um, light browny colors here and giving it some color all the way around the sides and on the bottom and a tiny bit on the top. So I found my old pineapple video and it is kind of bad. It is a very old video, but uh, the technique is still the same for uh, the prettier pineapple. Here I'm just going with the easier pineapple where I first 
uh, used a piece of scrap clay and designed this pineapple ring. Uh, made the indents and stuff, the texture and so on that and then I baked that and made a mold with some mold putty. This one is made with silicone. And here I am just using a mixture of some translucent clay with a tiny bit of yellow clay inside. Mixed that really really well together. And then I'm just um, softening out the clay and stuffing it into the mold. Really stuffing it into the mold. And then I'm making some uh, texture on the top side of uh, the pineapple here. Uh, just working uh, with my needle tool so I get the texture in there that I really like and then I'm just going to carefully pop that out of the mold and then I'm just going to make so that I have five of these um, pieces of pineapple but you can use the old way where I made it from scratch with different colors in the pineapple giving it a little more life than this one but I found that this one is actually more than enough for this project. So I made five of those, uh, no, six of those, sorry. Uh, and now for the cherries, I'm just rolling some Xmas red clay here. Uh, I am using the Cernit brand. I always did use that brand, uh, but you can use whatever brand you like, just look at what your uh, packaging says about baking and stuff like that before you start working with it. Anyway, I rolled this into a tiny snake and then I am cutting out tiny, tiny pieces of the snake, rolling that into a ball. And then I am using my needle tool here to make a tiny indent on the top of this ball, kind of like where the stem uh, for this goes. And I am going to make uh, five, six, seven, eight of these so that I have one for each pineapple slice and so that I have two more for uh, the spoon that we're going to add later. So just keep rolling, making the little indent and then you have a cherry for the pineapple. For the caramel sauce, I am using my Fimo liquid um, gel, liquid gel, uh, and I am going to mix a tiny bit of my soft pastels in there. I'm using a orangey color and a light brown for that. And now it is time to mix, mix, mix and mix it really, really well before you continue so that you don't have any lumps and bumps in this mixture. And now you just put that on top of the cake and uh, place it just like you want to, smear it out to the edges and make some drip drops over the edge maybe. Uh, careful with that because that uh, keeps flowing until the cake is baked. So maybe not too much over the side as I did, uh, but I will leave that up to you. Now it is time for the pineapples. Um, and that is where I figure out that this is uh, a cake that is actually too small because you need to have five around the uh, top here. And I actually only have room for four, so I had to use uh, some time and some energy to pack this because I wanted the five pieces on there just like on the original, so I took my time with this. I did speed this up quite a lot because I did want to show you everything. I really, really had a lot of problems getting these pineapples to lie as I wanted it to because my cake is too small. So make your cake a little t bigger than I did. Then I'm using a tiny bit more of this um, female liquid paste that we made here. 
placing that on top and then placing my little uh, last pineapple on the middle there just making a little dip here on the side so that it looks like the caramel has uh, transferred a tiny bit onto the pineapple slices then it is time to bake your cake again look at the instruction on your uh, clay pack I always put my oven 5 degree Celsius less than on the packaging this way I can have it in the oven as long as I want without burning it sadly I couldn't find any spoon around so I took this little fork instead and I'm just gonna glue that here um, next to the little cake that I just glued on the cake stand and that is the cake stand from the old cake video the old one where I also opened a um, blind bag ball first and then made the cake so I will leave a link for that video in the info box below and for the 3d print of the cake stand and to hide that this is just a fork and not a spoon I am gluing the two pineapples on top of the fork so you don't really see it is a fork then I am taking my Fimo glaze here and I glaze all the pineapples and all the cherries here on top of the cake and I actually do that on the one from the miniverse brand as well because I thought that these uh, pineapples there they did look a little um, matte on the surface and I want them to look a little wet here so I just did that as well on that one so you can do that if you want to anyway that is all there is for this little uh, cake making today I hope you had a lot of fun I did so I will see you next week so, happy crafting.